My name is Marley Spafford. I get to teach a variety of topics, some of which are related to my research and some of which are not. When I'm in the classroom, I tend to teach about communication and healthcare, ethics and healthcare, and that's related to my research. Uh, I also teach systemic disease, so diseases of the body that some impact on the eye and some don't. Uh, so the students can't be optometrists unless they understand the bigger picture. They need to understand the whole body's health. Um, we would have the patient with their chin here and looking into this globe. Um, we call it a Gonsfeld. It presents a flash of light that fills their eye with light. And we can control whether that's a dim light or a bright light, slow or fast. We're the only English-speaking um, optometry program in Canada. So you're drawing from across the country really bright people who are engaged, interested in others. Uh, and so that's a fun ingredient right there, that you've got engaged and smart people. Turns out that when light enters into the eye, um, it hits the tissue at the back of the eye and there's a chemical reaction that happens. And then that chemical reaction converts to an electrical signal. Then you get to, to teach them in different settings. And it's a very different relationship you have, at least I do, in the classroom because it's 90 people than when you're with two students and a patient. That electrical signal is sent along the main nerve from the eye up to the vision center of the brain. So the vision actually happens at the back of your head. I think students are savvy and they suss out a couple things in their teachers. One is, does this person know a lot about what they're supposed to be talking about? And they figure that out quickly. And of course they want that. They also suss out, does this person want to be in the room? Do they actually like this? They may have to do it, but they may not like doing it. And I think if you enjoy that activity, the students pick up on that. I have fun, and they know that. So when we're using this instrument, we're saying, what's that first electrical signal at the back of the eye? What's it like? I make light of things at times, I'm very serious at others. I try not to, for example, teach about that disease because that disease means nothing unless you talk about the people who have the diseases. So I try to personally connect that. And what you'll have is students coming up after class going, boy, that was a tough lecture because you know what? My uncle has that condition. And they've seen it close and personal. And that's what I want them to sure pass the test at the end of the day and be able to know the official signs and symptoms of a disease but that's not enough they have to actually try to understand what the impact of that condition could be for someone and we know what it should look like we know how big it should be we know how fast it should be and in certain eye diseases that happen at the back of the eye those electrical signals are disturbed um, what uh, happens in the classroom, I learn from the students. They, it's not like they come in and they're vacuums. These are bright people who often have one or possibly two degrees when they come in. There, there's not a term that doesn't go by where there are m many times where I go, I just learned something from that student. Whether it's in knowledge or whether how I want to teach that next time. So that's kind of pretty fun job to have then, to have that kind of much of your job to enjoy. So a patient who's coming here, they've already had all the regular eye tests and someone has requested that this specialized test be done. In the classroom the students have heard about this technology, you know they've learned about this kind of eye testing. Then when they're in the clinic with me on a with just two of them in the room, they're actually working with the patients and they're parts that I let the, pa the students do because they've, they've really got the certain parts down very well. But this special technology, I'll take the lead on and they'll help me. So we're a team and that's what I say to the students, nobody's more important here. We each have our strengths and we as a team will work with our patient. And at the end of that assessment, we have to talk to our patient and make sure they understand what happened. Plus, at the beginning of the appointment, find out what their agenda is. This is very specialized tests, not something that an optometrist does on a daily basis. So the students, in a sense, the learning goal is not necessarily to be able to do this test themselves in private practice, 
but to know when I work with a patient, this is a patient who I should refer for this testing. I know what the testing will look like when they go for the testing. And when I get a report of it, I'll actually be able to interpret it because I understand what's being assessed here and what are the implications of a normal and not normal result. And that, that verbal feedback, I, one of the things that I later get from the students in their written feedback is, I really like that we actually talked because a lot of times I just get a, a grade sheet at the end with a mark and one or two comments, but, and, but you actually sat and talked with me and then I could ask you questions and we could talk a little bit. Maybe it was about the I part of this day, or maybe it was about the person I, I, you know, when that patient cried when you told them this, I didn't know what to do, I thought I was going to cry, is it okay to cry in front of my patients? You know, we get into discussions that you wouldn't get if you just, you know, wrote a few sentences down. So that part is important for documentation, but so is the conversation. So the students and I work together. Students today are so techno savvy. You show them a computer and their smiles. Yeah. They just, you only have to show them a few steps and they're all over it. Probably my success in teaching is because it feels, it's fun to help people understand something and it's fun to be with people who are bright. Um, you know, these are motivated people and I don't know why you wouldn't want to be with them.